Welcome to another Lawn Fawn video. Today we are introducing our brand new little mini set, Pumpkin Spice and its coordinating dies. So let's go ahead and check it out. So first up we have this cute little coffee cup. It also could be a hot chocolate mug too. And then we've got a little shaker and we have smiley faces for both the cup and the shaker and little blush cheeks for that cup too. We also have these little diamond shapes that can be the sprinkles coming out of that little shaker. Then we have the sentiment which is so adorable and that's the you're the pumpkin spice in my latte. Next, I'm gonna use my Copic markers to add some color to these images. And I thought a nice orange mug would be perfect for fall. So I'm putting all of my dark areas to the outside of the mug and then keeping it light towards the center so that it looks kind of three dimensional. And I'm gonna do the same thing with the latte that's in my mug. So I'm gonna add the darkness on the outside and then the lightness in the middle. I'm gonna use those same markers that I used for the coffee and I'm just dotting them into the shaker to make it look like the sprinkles in the shaker. Now these are the coordinating dies which you can bend apart at the tabs or use your wire snips to separate them. I'm going to take them and line them up with the images in this set, hold them in place with some low tack tape and then run it through my die cut machine. And so here you can see just how cute it is when it pops out of that die. So now I'm gonna go ahead and make a shaker card with this because I thought it went along with the whole pumpkin spice theme. So I have one of my outside in stitched rectangles here and I'm gonna die cut some knock on wood paper with it. Then next I'm gonna use my brand new outside in stitched scallop circle here to die cut an opening from this cardstock. So you can see how beautiful that stitched opening is. And then I'm left with a really cute little stitched scallop circle that I can use for something else. I'm gonna trim down some more knock on wood paper. I love this wood grain paper. The colors are just so pretty. And this is gonna be the back part of my shaker. Now to create a little table for my latte, I'm gonna use the tree stump from the new Forest Feast stamp set. And I got this idea from my friend Kristen and I thought it was so clever. And so I'm just gonna add a little color there with E34 and E31. I'm gonna cut a piece of acetate for my shaker window and then start to layer everything. So I'm gonna add my little latte there on top of the stump. And then I'm gonna add some adhesive to the back of my window and layer that right there to that window. Then next, I'm going to take my score tape and go all the way around that whole image because that's where I'm gonna put my acetate to create that shaker window. So once I peel up all of that liner tape, I'm gonna, once again, just put that acetate right on top and I'm almost there with my shaker. So next up, I am going to do my trick, which is triple foam. So I'm gonna take my foam roll here, I'm gonna double it up, and then I'm gonna triple it up. And for shakers, if you do that triple foam, it really makes it so the shaker pieces really do shake really well. Now once I've got that all tripled up, what I like to do then is cut it into thinner strips so I get a lot of value out of my tripled up foam. So I'm gonna trim that down, and then I can start to layer it onto my shaker piece. As I start to layer all of my foam pieces, I'm gonna make sure that the piece that's below my little latte there is actually pretty low because I wanna make sure that the shaker bits kind of fall behind the cup and then kind of poke out from behind it in a surprise. So here I'm taking my powder tool and going along all of the inner edges of the tape to remove any potential stickiness that might be there so that my shaker pieces move around really, really well. So here I'm gonna dump some of my little Lucy's Little Things shaker pieces and then I'm also gonna take some brand new chunky glitter and add that in there too because well a little glitter is always good <laughs> so I'm just gonna sprinkle that in and then I'm gonna take all of my pieces and just try to move them to the center of my card then I'm gonna take all of that liner tape there off of my foam tape and I can layer that right on top and now my shaker has been created my last little finishing touch is to add the little shaker jar there because that's gonna kind of go along with this whole theme that the sequins are the little pumpkin spice for the latte. Now, this was when I realized that I had wanted to put a smiley face on the jar but had forgotten, but it turned out okay, thank goodness. And then I'm gonna use that same little dotted technique that I did for the shaker jar and put it on the top of the little whipped cream on my latte. Now I've stamped out my sentiment and I'm gonna die cut that with a sentiment banner. And then I'm also gonna trim down some orange cardstock to be the base of my card. And that orange is actually from the knock on wood too. So it's got that great wood grain texture. So I'm gonna layer that right on top of my card base. And then I'm gonna take my whole shaker and layer that on top there. 
Then I can take that sentiment banner and add a little foam tape and layer that right on. And this is a really simple card, but it packs a big punch because it's got this amazing shaker that's going on. And I love that the sequins hide behind it and then it's a big surprise when they pop out. It just makes me smile every time. So next up, we have some cards from our fabulous design team. And the first card is by Yanea, and I love that chalkboard look that she created on that little circle tag. It's so cool. Letitia created a really beautiful kind of yellow blended area that really highlights that cute little pumpkin spice latte. Kristen's card is so cool. I love how she layered those pumpkin tags in the background to create kind of her own custom pattern paper. And then Audrey's background, oh my gosh, it's just wow, this is just so beautiful. So I cannot wait to see what you guys create with this stamp set, so make sure to share it with us. Thank you so much for watching and have an absolutely amazing day. Bye. Thank you.